Hello everybody, so today's video is going to be my luxury handbag collection video. This is definitely my most requested video year round. I try to do them once a year and I honestly hadn't gotten a chance to get to it in the earlier part of this year, so I thought that I would share it now do not get me wrong, I did hesitate whether right now was the time, just trying to be a little bit more sensitive to the current environment, but I asked you guys and it was basically unanimous that y'all wanted to see this video. I hope you do know that my intentions in sharing this video at this time are nothing more than this is part of my channel, this is what I do, and I know you guys enjoy this video. So let's go ahead and get started because it is gonna be a long one. So the first style of handbag that I wanna share with you guys are my traditional totes. I have five to share with you guys. And the first one is my Goyard St. Louis in the PM size. So some of you may be wondering that I sold this bag. I actually sold the GM size and I ended up actually, I don't wanna say regretting selling it, but knowing that I wanted to try out the PM size. So I ended up selling the GM size. A few months later, I ended up purchasing the PM size. And I will say, I do think that this size is a much better size for me. It's a very, very easy, simple bag. It's really thin, you get that sag. I do not have a base shaper or any sort of organizer in that. I love the sag of this bag. It is a much smaller size than the GM, but I find that it's still very practical. Next up is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the MM size. This is my oldest tote of all of the totes that I am sharing with you. So I've had this one for several years. I still love this bag. I think it's a great size. It's a great traditional tote size if you're just looking for a tote you don't want a lot of flexibility you just want ease and simplicity this is the size that I actually recommend for you and I love it in the Sabine like I said I've had this one for a few years and it still looks great next up I have the Louboutin Kabata tote everything will be linked below I will link every single handbag in this video down below in the order that I share it but this is the Kabata bag I love this bag I don't reach for it a ton I will be honest but when I look at it there's something so special about it this red interior is so vibrant and just puts a smile on my face there's something about that pop of red I love the stud details I feel like it's really unique it actually reminds me a little bit of Valentino and then you've got this rubber red bottom making this bag virtually worry free next up I have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size this is of course in the Azure print now this is probably my least used bags out of my totes but I still love that I have it it's such a great great summer or a beach tote if you are going to the pool but you want something kind of cute and luxurious and kind of fun. I don't reach for this one a whole lot like I said but I'm still really really glad that I have it as part of my collection. I only have two pieces of the Azor. You'll see the other one later but I do love this one. I haven't had any color transfer anything but keep in mind I don't wear this one a ton. And last of all my totes is another Neverfull in the GM size but in the monogram. This is definitely my most used handbags out of all all my classic totes. I reach for this one all the time. I know it's huge, but I love it. I love the sag that it gets. It's great for travel. It's so practical and easy. And for me, even though it does have some of this untreated leather, I love that my straps have started to get, it's, it's gotten a little bit saggy and I just really love that, that kind of worn in vintage almost kind of feel. This bag to me is a must if you are starting a collection. It's so practical, it's so easy, it's so effortless, and because of the size, it gives a very unique vibe compared to like the MM size. So yes, this is definitely my most used tote. Next up, I wanna go into the backpacks that I do own, and I currently have two luxury backpacks in my collection. The first one is my Louis Vuitton Most Free backpack in the GM size. I get asked about this backpack all the time. I will link some options down below if you're looking to buy this. Obviously, you have to buy it on the pre-loved market. It is no longer available. I will never get rid of this bag. I don't reach for it a lot lately because of the backpack that I recently added to my collection that I do also love, but this is just to me one of those classic timeless bags and I love having it. So this is my newest backpack in my collection. It is the Gucci backpack in the smaller size. So they do have a larger version of this, which is more a traditional sized backpack size, but I decided to opt for the small and it is such a great size. It fits everything that I could possibly want. I do have other videos on this bag if you wanna check it out, but I really, really enjoy this backpack. 
backpack and I've been reaching for it a lot, especially recently just because of the situation wanting to be hands-free when you're out shopping and things like that. I have another, there's like two other bags that I've been reaching for recently, but I love this one. It's worry-free. It's that coated canvas so you can just wipe it easy. It's the treated leather and then of course you got the cloth back here. So it's just such an easy worry-free bag. So the next category that I want to share with you guys are my top handle bags, but I also threw in a couple of other random bags that, that aren't crossbodies, aren't really top handles. So I just kind of put them in here. I've got nine bags in this category. And the first one is my YSL St. Laurent Sac Du Jour. This is in the small size. I love this bag, you guys. It is classic. It is timeless. It is obviously more of a structured tote. It is just such a beautiful bag. Every single time I share this bag on Instagram, social media, you guys love, love, love this bag. I have seen it in a ton of other colors. This color is very hard to come by unless you find it on the pre-loved market. I will link some options down below, but it's a very, very practical bag. Whether I am dressed a little bit more polished and professional or I'm casual, this bag totally works. Next up is my Prada, and this is also in the small size. They do still have this one available. They also have one that has these gray little handles, which I actually kind of love. This tote is so beautiful. It's structured like the sac de jour, but just a little bit more soft. There's something about it that has a soft touch. So it's polished and it's professional, but it's also very delicate and beautiful in my opinion. It does come with a strap. So technically you could carry this like crossbody or something if you really, really wanted to, but that's not how I carry it. So I always consider this a like structured top handle tote. Love this bag. It's so beautiful and timeless as well. Next up is my Dior. This is the Lady Dior in the large size. So mine does not have an extra strap, so you can only carry this one top handle. It does have the zipper here. It has the gold hardware. It is the soft like lambskin. I love this bag. I do not reach for this one a ton, I will admit, but it's so beautiful, so classic, so timeless. I definitely recommend picking this one up on the pre-loved market. I'll link some options down below. It's timeless. It's classic. It's definitely a little bit more polished and professional in my opinion. It is harder to dress this one down. You could do kind of like a dressy casual look or a super, super dressy look in my opinion, but I still love of having this in my collection. Another classic timeless bag is the Louis Vuitton Alma, and this is the MM size. I have owned the, the PM size, I've owned the BB size, and I decided that the MM size was my favorite. I also happen to love the Abine and this particular structure. It is just such a beautiful, beautiful bag. There's something so ladylike and classic about it. I definitely have dressed this down, so I do think you have that option, especially because of this particular print, but it's so beautiful, polished, and professional as well. The size is great. It's just such a beautiful size. Of course, I love that pop of red. There's there's just something about a pop of red that just, that just gets me, and this one is so beautiful, so timeless. You got the feet on the bottom. I do consider this a more worry-free bag, but I wouldn't say that it's like a must have in your collection, but if you are aiming to add more classic bags to your collection and you love Louis Vuitton, this is definitely one of their most classic bags. Next up is my first Speedy Classic 30 in the Azor print. This is the other Azor print bag that I have. This is the last of my Azor print. I don't reach for this one often either, but I love having the trifecta. You'll see the rest of them in just a bit. Speedies to me are such a classic bag. They are, again, a great starter bag to a luxury collection, but I still enjoy having them in my collection. I have always said that I don't see ever getting rid of my Speedies because there's something so classic and timeless about them, even though I don't reach for them often. Now, that may change. I will admit I have considered it recently just because they are just sitting there, especially this one, but I don't really see that happening. It's just kind of been something that I've been thinking about. These are such a beautiful, beautiful bag. I love that you can get a more polished look from them, but you can also get a really casual, effortless look whenever you put things in and it has that sag to the bottom. So I love, love, love this classic silhouette. And like I said, I do have the trifecta. So here is another classic Speedy 30 in the monogram. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Again, I just think these are timeless. And then of course I had to get it in the Abine as well. This one also has that pop of red in the interior. Just such a beautiful, beautiful classic bag. If you're trying to decide between one of the Speedies, I personally really love the fact that the Abines are basically worry-free. Then you also have that pop of red, but also 
there is kind of something about that monogram but I do think that some outfits the monogram can clash a little bit and this just looks a little bit more subtle really just depends on what look you're going for you're looking for more of like what most people consider classic Louis Vuitton that's gonna be the monogram but in reality this is actually the canvas that Louis Vuitton originally started out with. So the next two bags that I have in this category aren't really top handle bags per se, but I wasn't really sure where else to put them. So this is my Chanel in the Jumbo. It is a single flap bag. I love this bag. Now, you do have the adjustable strap, so you can wear it on the shoulder or you can wear it on the shoulder shorter this one unfortunately is way too long for my particular height to wear it crossbody so i didn't want to put it in the crossbody category because i have never and will never wear this bag crossbody so i always usually wear this either on the crook of my arm in my hand on my shoulder but of course a classic jumbo is just kind of a classic bag to have in your collection I'm I always said that I wanted one in my collection but I knew I was gonna be super super picky about the one that I added I did want to pay full retail and I wanted a single flap which meant I had to buy it on the pre-love market so I did buy this on the pre-love market I got this one from Julie Rose Boston on Instagram I have gotten a few of my pre-loved bags from her she's a great resource if you're looking to buy pre-loved and she just uh, sourced this one out for me and I think it is the perfect one for me and last in this category is my Dior saddle bag so this is in the classic like larger size now this one you can mainly wear when you buy it on your arm on your hand or on your shoulder I did add the guitar strap so technically I could wear them this one crossbody if I wanted to though I will say to be honest I mainly reach for this one on the crook of my arm the hand and then every once in a while I wear this one on the shoulder so it actually really reminds me of my Chanel jumbo in the way that I carry it this is more for decoration not that it's not practical because it is it's a usable strap you can totally wear it on your shoulder you can even wear it crossbody but for me the strap is more decoration because I just love the way it looks when it hangs. This is definitely one of those bags that I had a really hard time deciding if I wanted to purchase it, but when I saw it in this um, all leather like blush nude color, I knew that I had to get this one just because the monogram canvas one just felt so trendy to me and there's something about this one that is more classic and timeless. You've still got the saddlebag shape. No, it's not super practical. I will be honest, a lot of people have asked. It's not a super practical bag. It's definitely one of those like more collectors type of pieces. It's more of like a piece of art. It's stunning, it's beautiful, it's not very practical, but it's just so, so beautiful. And I think especially in this particular color with this particular guitar strap combo, it's just so classic, chic, and elegant, and still trendy at the same time. So next up, I wanna go into my crossbody bags. And the first one is technically not a crossbody, but that's how I wear it. So I put it in this category and it is my Gucci belt bag, bum bag, fanny pack, whatever you want to call it. I've been talking a lot about this. So of course I have some videos on this bag if you want to check it out. It's practical, it's easy, it's effortless, it's trendy, but it's also just so stinking cute. I just, I love this bag. I'm so glad that I added this bag to my collection. Like I said, it's so easy. You've just got one compartment here, the web here, super, super like worry-free in my opinion, even though it's a lighter bag. Check out the videos that I talked about, trust me. You'll wanna check it out if this one is on your wish list. Love, love this bag. Next up is my Hermes Evelyn bag. This is the PM size. So I will admit I do not reach for this one that often. I'm actually considering possibly selling this bag because I don't reach for it very often at all, but I still think it's a very practical, easy, effortless bag. I think it's one of those bags that if you just want something super simple and just very, very practical and functional, this is a really good one. It's all leather down here, and then you've got this web strap, which is a little bit thicker. It is obviously very, very much adjustable, so if you're super tall, this is gonna work for you, whether you wanna wear it on your shoulder or you do wanna wear it crossbody. You've got one pouch here in the back, and then it's basically just one open compartment. It's easy, simple, and I do think that the style and the silhouette is very, very classic. So next up is my Tamara Mellon bag. And the reason why I decided to include this in this video is because it is just over that $1,000 price point, which I do consider luxury. Anything in that price point is a luxury handbag. I decided to just make this video luxury just 
for the sake of time. Once I realized how many bags I had to share with you guys, it just made sense for me to make this purely luxury and I do consider this a luxury handbag. The quality is there, the price point is there. I think it's beautifully, beautifully crafted. It really is a beautiful, beautiful bag, but it's also very, very unique and I think the price point is great. It's really, really beautiful. My next luxury handbag is actually a vintage Louis Vuitton that has kind of been pimped out by leather and vodka. So this is the, I believe it's called the Saint Cloud bag in the PM size, I believe. And obviously this is a very, very old, old bag. I do not know the exact year, but it is old. It is vintage. And they basically like pimped it out by adding this braided leather strap, adding the fringe, adding the braiding. It's just really, really fun. If you already have a nice collection going and you want to add something vintage Louis Vuitton but something unique and just kind of fun. I really really like this bag. I will link their website down below. They have a few other different styles if this one is not your thing like they have a backpack and tote and things like that. So I just thought this was really fun and I love having this in my collection. Next up is probably the smallest handbag in my collection and it is my Speedy Nano. I love this bag. It is almost impossible to get your hands on but I have seen it. I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to add this to your collection. It is so cute. And actually, now that I think about it, it may not be my smallest handbag in my collection, but it does appear to be. But as far as like what fits inside, it actually fits a lot more than you would think. I do have a video if you want to check that out, but it's so cute. It's so tiny. You guys know how much I love my speedies. So when I had the chance to get this one, I... I, I had to get it. I had to get it. The only downside is the strap is not adjustable or removable. So this always has to be on there, but I don't mind it. I love wearing this as a crossbody bag. And then the handles are just so cute. Speaking of loving speedies, my next handbag is a speedy bandolier in the 25 size. So this is the only 25 size that I have and even though you do have the option to carry this one handheld I primarily do wear this one crossbody though I will say every once in a while I do use this as a crick of the arm bag this one and the abine is very very worry free that's the, the reason why I decided to get the abine versus the monogram because this would have been all the untreated leather now I have considered getting the bandolier in the 25 monogram size recently just because I don't know I just love having like options and I think this is such a beautiful classic bag of course if you are wanting a speedy but you want more of the practicality of a crossbody option I definitely recommend the bandolier and I personally prefer the bandolier in the 25 size next up is my Celine bag this is the belt bag in the micro size I love this bag. So obviously you do have the top handle, of course, and I do wear a top handle a lot, but it also comes with the longer crossbody slash like shoulder bag strap as well, which is how I primarily wear this bag. This bag is such a timeless, simplistic chic bag in my opinion. If you're looking for something that is elegant and chic and luxury but minus all of the flash and logos and things like that this is such a beautiful beautiful option I particularly do do love this color you guys know I gravitate towards nudes but it does come in a ton of other colors I can leave some options down below for you guys the size even though it is the micro is a little tricky their sizing is very off it is a good enough size that it's gonna fit everything that you really really need in there your wallet your keys your phone all of your you know makeup bag things like that everything that you could possibly need and some it's just such a beautiful chic classic bag next up is this valentino rock stud crossbody bag i love their nude this is the poudre and it has a purplish gray kind of tone to it but it is their version of a nude and i actually really like that each brand has a different tone for a nude bag because i can add multiples and it looks like i have a variety of nudes which i love that this one is a very very simple bag as far as the actual functionality it just has one compartment a little slit there and it is just a crossbody bag you could technically take this strap off if you wanted to and just carry it as a clutch i have personally never done that but i 
I guess you could if you really, really wanted to, but you just have this long crossbody strap with all of the Rockstud details. And surprisingly, they have never, ever, ever bothered me. So I really, really love this bag. Like I said, I am a huge Valentino fan. You guys know I have a ton of their shoes. So I really, really wanted to add at least one of their handbags in my collection. Next up is my Gucci Dionysus in the small size, I believe. I'll link the exact size down below. I love this bag, you guys. I'm definitely late to the train because this actually was super, super popular a couple of years back. And I definitely feel like it's died down, but it doesn't stop me from wearing it. I actually really am not big on jumping onto trends. I just am not. I like to buy things because I like them, I enjoy them, and I want them in my collection. And this is one of those bags that's always kind of piqued my interest, but I never really touched it or looked at it when I was in the store. And then I decided to look at one when I was in the store and I couldn't stop thinking about it after I left. So I ended up ordering one and I do really love it. So this one I primarily wear crossbody. That's why I wanted to include it in this part of the video. So I will admit it is definitely a longer crossbody bag, but the way, depending on the way that you pull it through the straps, you can actually make it just a touch shorter. See how the strap is still there? It actually makes it just a touch shorter. So I really do enjoy versus that. Do you see the difference? It just makes it a little bit shorter when you pull it through this way because it has to grab on as opposed to just coming straight through. So hopefully that makes sense. It doesn't make it a lot shorter, but it definitely makes it a little bit shorter. And if you're on the shorter side, I would definitely try that. It is definitely on the small side, but it fits all of the essentials and I love this larger like statement hardware and this to me there's something about it I was really assuming this would be super stiff and very very structured and it's not it's actually a very comfortable soft bag easy even with how small it is so I'm just really really glad that I added this to my collection and the hardware is so luxurious next up is my Louis Vuitton and the Petite Mal, this is the newer version, which I've heard is slightly, slightly bigger. I cannot compare the two or explain exactly how they are bigger because obviously this is the only one that I own. This is one of those bags that I do not reach for often, but because of how much of a Louis Vuitton lover I am, I wanted to add this to my collection because of just the history behind this bag. They created this bag to model their trunks, which is where Louis Vuitton started. And so it is very, very classic, very, very timeless. And it's almost like a piece of art in my opinion. All of the details it's it's just so so beautiful i did purchase this one brand new from the louis vuitton store and i'm really really glad that i did it is teeny weeny it fits very very little i think i might actually have a video showing what fits inside you could fit all of your essentials but that is it it is super super tight and you, i mean you kind of have to puzzle them in but i thought that owning this bag was worth kind of the hassle of that just because of the bag itself and what it signifies so i love this bag it's timeless it's classic and i will have this one forever so now that i think about it i probably shouldn't have included this in my crossbody handbag section because i really don't wear this one crossbody but for some reason this is where I put it, so I do apologize for that, but that's okay. This is the medium flap. This is my only medium flap, and it is, of course, a double flap. So this is my newest Chanel. It is lambskin in this beautiful, beautiful, rich caramel color with a matte gold hardware. I love this bag you guys it is so beautiful i've had a ton of you guys ask about this particular ba bag and what the color is named i do not know it is just a gorgeous caramel color if i can find it on the pre-loved market i will link it down below for you guys so it is my one of it is my newest handbag i have only worn it a couple of times but i love it and i can already see this being one of those bags that's going to be in my collection forever it is lambskin but i do think because it does have a richer tone i'm not going to have to worry about color transfer or anything like that at least not too bad i take very very good care of my handbags so i don't experience a lot of color transfer but that's also because i change out my handbags so often so i don't get that layer upon layer of color transfer on them over time because i do change them out so often i don't typically have that issue of course since i've only worn this like twice i haven't had that issue with this one i will definitely 
definitely keep you posted if I experience anything, but I am so glad that I recently added this one to my collection. Next up is my Chloe Nile bag in the small size. I also wear this one primarily crossbody, although you do have this gorgeous a bracelet strap that you can wear it as well so if you're doing it more for an evening bag i love actually removing this strap and just carrying it by the ring here it's just so beautiful it gives a very very unique look but i also feel like it looks a little bit boho depending on how you style it i do love this bag but i don't reach for this one that often this is one of the bags in my collection that i would consider selling so i haven't really thought super hard about it but just so you kind of know i always like to include that in these handbags collection videos so I do love it the color is like a putty color so it goes with blacks browns and all the neutrals in between because it's kind of like that perfect blend of cool and nude it is definitely on the smaller side but it fits all of your essentials phones all of that stuff it's a cute bag it definitely looks good with a few different styles if your style is super super simple I love adding something like this because it's so unique and it definitely gives a touch of style but then again if you do wear a lot of colors and prints this bag also because of the simplicity is really really nice as well but then you've got the hardware that really stands out so it's almost like a piece of jewelry so I do love this bag I just don't reach for it a ton another classic forever bag for me is my Chanel mini square I love this bag this was actually my first Chanel you guys it is caviar black gold hardware all the classics I, I just love this bag I will never ever ever get rid of this one it's so cute so classic so timeless and it fits all of your essentials just like most of my mini bags do I love this bag I definitely have dressed this down I definitely have dressed this up I've worn this one quite a bit since I've had it in my collection and I love it I really 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 do love it I think it's one of those bags that if you are a collector, having a Chanel mini is almost kind of like a must. Next up is my Gucci Marmont in the super mini size. This is in their nude version, which is also a blushy kind of purple color, but it's still different than the Rockstad. But I love this bag. Super, super tiny, but again, it does fit everything that you could possibly need. I might have a video on this bag as well if you want to check it out. It's so, so cute. I don't reach for this one a ton either, and I have considered selling this one because I do have so many other nude crossbody bags that kind of serve the same purpose, but I think it's a great bag. It really, really is. I love how soft and squishy it is. You've got the heart detail on the back. It is just one compartment. It's also surprisingly super functional, especially if you're wanting something super, super small. Small. It fits everything that you could possibly need and it's just so cute and of course I I just love the nude bags and I think this one is really really fun I do have the matching belt which I think looks really cute with it but yes this is definitely one of my least used bags right now next up is my Chanel filigree in the two-tone version in the small size I also get asked about this bag a lot I love this handbag. I think this might have been my second or my third Chanel that I added to my collection. You can double up the strap and wear it double like this on your shoulder. I would make this more even like that, but I primarily wear this one crossbody. I love the fact that this one is so versatile. It, you can dress it down, you can dress it up, but I can also wear this with pretty much everything, whether you're wearing black, whether you're wearing more of like neutrals, it really goes with a lot because it is the two-tone it's caviar it's got the gold hardware the chain is a lot smaller than their typical handbags but I just think it works with this particular collection it is a single flap which I also love I just recently added the double flap so I can't really compare yet because I haven't made my full opinion but I do really love the easiness of the single flaps in my opinion but I really like this bag this is definitely one of my favorite Chanel's like I said this was on my wish list for many many years before I added it to my collection and I just love it next up is my YSL college bag in the medium size in this gorgeous like taupey beige color and this silver like gunmetal style hardware this is such a beautiful bag but I will admit I really don't reach for it much and I recently have considered selling this one just because I don't reach for it much I love 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 this style of bag though so I haven't fully decided you've got one little compartment here in the back and then 
you've got the main compartment here. I actually did do a video comparing this bag and the next bag that I'm going to share with you guys. You definitely should check that one out as well. This is a great size though. It reminds me of the Pochette Matisse, just a little bit smaller. I actually did a video comparing this bag and my Pochette Matisse as well, which you'll see in just a little bit. But I do think that this is a great practical bag. Again, watch those videos. You can see why. You can see everything that fits inside. I don't particularly know why I don't reach for it. I think I just prefer gold hardware and this one for some reason I wanted to try something different so I got the silver hardware but I think deep down I truly prefer gold hardware. Next up is another bag by YSL. This is the Lulu bag and this is in the small size. Like I said I did do a video comparing this bag and the bag that I just showed you. The college if you want to see that. This is a great bag as well and of course I got this one in the gold hardware so I just gravitate towards this one whenever I am picking between this one or the other. So I do love this bag and I think the white is beautiful. It's not a like white white it has a little hint of color but it still is white if that makes sense there is no pouch in the back so you've just got the compartments here definitely check out that video if you want to compare the two and decide which one is a better fit for you this one has the longer strap which is how I primarily wear it but of course as you can see it's very easy to double this one up and the next handbag is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse again I also compared this one to my college bag if I would check that one out if you are curious this has has been one of my most used bags over the last year. I love the functionality of this bag because of the fact that I've already got a really nice honey patina. It is virtually worry free for me. I primarily wear this one crossbody. Here is my strap in here. I, I love, love, love this bag. I have done reviews on this bag. Check out those videos as well if you're deciding on adding this one to your collection. I will link some in the pre-loved market down below for you guys if you're wanting to add this. It is still very difficult to get your hands on from directly from Louis Vuitton though it can happen but if you're wanting to add this and you don't mind a little bit of already love on the bag and find something in a good and great condition definitely check out the links down below but I love love this handbag we finally made it to the end hopefully you're still with me and this last bag is technically not even a handbag at all well it's not a handbag at all but it just made the most sense to include it in this particular collection video and it is my Keep All 45 Bandolier in the monogram size. I love this bag. If you're wanting to add a travel piece, a weekender, duffel type bag, I think the 45 is the most practical. It's very, very manageable for me to carry. I did own the 50 in the past and I much prefer the 45 size. Also, I also feel like a bandolier strap is also a must have just because it gets so, so heavy. So you can carry it here and carrying it through an airport or just when you're walking around can get very very heavy whenever they are full even this 45 size can get a little bit heavy depending on what I carry in it but I do love having this so if you enjoy adding luxury to your collection you love collecting pieces and just you know owning luxury pieces I do love this bag and I'm glad that I have it as part of my collection like I said even though it's not a handbag it just wouldn't make any sense for me to include this in an SLG collection and made way more sense for me to include it in a handbag collection video so that is it you guys so like I said everything will be linked down below. I will do my best to make sure to link everything, whether it's new and or pre-loved. They'll all be down below in the info box. I hope everybody is doing okay out there. If you are new to my channel, my name is Amanda. It is so nice to meet you. I hope you decide to stick around and hit that subscribe button, that notification button. And before you head out, make sure to check out one of these videos that's about to pop up here on your screen and I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.